All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. You know, I haven't done this type of channel. I mean, this type of... Stupid. Like, I haven't done this type of um, video in a long time. So, you know, I had to bring it back. And this is my cousin. Her nickname, Mama. Hi. And... Yeah, tell her a little bit, little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Carolina. But they call me Mama. I'm 16. I'm a teen mom. What? Oh. Uh... Yeah. By the way, we got some hot chocolates. I can't get it. I'm okay about to go get some more too. Um, I almost died two weeks ago. Like <laughs> two weeks ago? What? Cause the baby. Like you? Like wait, hold on. You exaggerating? Are you actually? No, I'm so dead ass. What the? F <laughs> All right, now you gotta tell us about it. What, what, what the fuck All going right, on? All right. Well, um, cause I got preeclampsia, which is a symptom of pregnancy. <laughs> But not everybody has it. Um, but it basically made me have seizures. What? And I had three. What the fuck? I had three seizures because of the baby. And then I had two at home. And then they rushed me to the hospital. I had one at the hospital. What? And then I had an emergency C-section. To take the baby out. And so after they took the baby out, I was perfect. The seizures stopped. But the baby was born a month early. So yeah, so he was in the NICU for a little bit. That shit was, that shit was crazy. Like, like I don't remember nothing except going into my first seizure and then being at the hospital. And I didn't remember I was pregnant. I just like woke up in the emergency room and then they had tied me because I guess I was fighting them in the ambulance. Oh, you're tied down because you could have hurt me or the baby. And I was like, what baby? He's like, you're 33 weeks pregnant. And I look at my mom and I was just like, I'm so sorry. And I started crying. And she's like, it's okay. Like, I'll explain it later. But like, I did not remember I was pregnant. It was the seizure that made you like a little bit of your memory? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I did not know seizure could do that. And then, like, all the nurses, they were like, you know, you're lucky to be alive. He, sh you guys called at the right time. Or if you guys had waited just a little longer, like, you guys could have been minus two right now. Because the baby could have died, too. It puts him in stress. The fuck? Yeah. There's my tia, too, by the way. She doesn't want to be in it. Oh, no, we can still see her. So, as you guys see, you guys know. You guys know her, too, from a long time. You guys OGs to this channel. You guys will know her and the other one, Fernanda. This pandemic actually been, you know, crazy. This shit is like just so depressing. I just want everything to be normal again. Like I forgot what normal was. I really, really, really want to go to a movie theater. Like that, I just been wanting to go to a movie theater. I wanted to see the new superhero movies. Y'all know what I'm saying, with the Avengers movies and all that. But man. They have another movie coming out? Yeah, the Thor one, uh, the Wonder Woman. I mean, uh, don't hate me in the comments. Um, what's her name? <laughs> Black Widow. There you go. It's Scarlett Johansson. She's the popularity of that team. Oh, look, look, look. She ain't escaping this time. <laughs> Do you think aliens exist? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, it's too big. The universe is too big for us to be the only living thing. Uh huh. And I believe that they already been here and that they already, already are here. And working what's with your their theory? government. Working uh, with our government. I don't well, know about basically, that. I, I watch a lot of documentaries about it. I said, you know, the Roswell crash, uh, the the piece of metal they like that they found. It was bendable. I don't know if that's a word, bendable. But it, yeah, you could bend that shit. That shit was weird, bro. Y'all gotta go watch some documentaries and expose the government. Oh, you know, you know what I was thinking? Have you heard about this app called Ranautica? Yeah. Okay, so look, I was reacting to this one video. I was, I was like, I, I think I should do it with some people. And I was thinking like you. Caesar and Fernando will be the perfect, the perfect match yeah. to do this with. Should we download it? I'm down. Oh, I found one. It's a house. Is it abandoned? No. It looks real nice. I'm exploding. Yeah. Where? Where are you? He died. I can't kill him on accident. Is that a murder's house? Yo, that is creepy though. Imagine see something from this window. I mean, the curtains are closed. All the curtains are closed. What's so special about this house? It looks nice. It's a nice house. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, that's abandoned. abandoned. And you're putting on the what the fuck? Okay. okay, that is creepy now. Look at that shit. This is scary. Wait. He has a smiley face on his. <gasps> What's behind it? What? What's in here? 
Yo. What a coincidence that like that they is. send us here and there's this Fuck. guy. So Randall Nautica just like randomly finds all these crime scenes or whatever happened in this neighborhood and they just put it towards you. Some go to like like a river. Yeah. And all that kind of shit. And this they put us in like a public place. What? Hi guys. That's my brother. He's adopted. Wait, I have my own video. He's not adopted. Yeah. But you should check out, check out my channel. What's your channel? Does he have a channel? Well, it's just called Daniel. Bruh. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> what is that? A puppy. puppy. It's another Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what you been up to? Doing school. School's not for me. Oh, God. I have an essay to do. It's due tomorrow. I haven't started it. You know how I'm a teen mom, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm telling you, that shit was like an emotional roller coaster for me. Like, just because, you know, that's never what I wanted for myself, mm -hmm. you know. But, like, when I finally told my mom, I told her, like, I wanted to get an abortion. And he was he was already too big. Like, I couldn't I couldn't get one. So, Damn. Yeah, so, like, I went home and cried because I was just like, bro, now what do I do? Because, like, I just had a really strong feeling of, like, I don't want to do this. And, like, I just... I was thinking like, you know, I can I can give him up for adoption, but like my mom would never let me, you know? And she told me she was like she's like, Do you really think you could you could give him up like when after you see him? In my head I was like, Yeah, I can but I thought I was gonna suffer from postpartum depression, which yeah. is like what moms get sometimes like after they give birth, like they they're just depressed. Sometimes it's really bad and sometimes they kill their baby. Yeah. I actually have heard stories like people leave their babies like out in, in like I don't know like in yeah like, and like I don't I'm not depressed and he, I I love that little boy like so much mm. the thought the thought of him like being taken away from me or the thought of me like having to give him up like makes me want to cry so I know I love him mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like it was just like a, an emotional roller coaster he didn't do nothing you know and like I just look at that little face from just like you know I just can't. Let nothing happen to him. And look, also, guys, if you got to become a teen mom at, at an early age, just don't give up, man. Like, I know I, I did it. Uh, you know, I, I was in the hospital for a week. The next week, I went home. And the next week, I was back in school, you know? It's just a hustle and a, and a grind, you know? You mm -hmm. just never give up. Because he actually made me, like, put. Like, he made me want to go harder. You know, some teen moms, like, when once they become pregnant, they have their baby, they drop out of school. Like, I just never wanted that for myself. You know, I want to finish school. I still plan on going to college. You know, you know don't wait to tell somebody. Because, like, I waited so long. But it was just me building up the courage to finally tell somebody. But I waited too long. I, did, I had no options, you know. You know, I still have, like, a feeling of embarrassment. I'm not ashamed of him. It, I am, like, it's embarrassing to me. You know, I love him. And at the same time, I'm kind of just like, fuck what you think, you know. Fuck. If you were doing that shit, like, you, you probably can't do what, I, what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna go kill myself because you said some shit to me. Yeah. Everyone has their own struggle, man. Like, I had my own struggle in high school. I was in, I really didn't tell nobody about this. I kept it to myself. But when I was in high school, man... I used to get bullied. I used to like I used to be called stupid a lot. I used to be called or like oh he can't he can't read he can't do this. I I would admit man like I was I was a slow reader. But you know I had ADHD. Um, it was pretty bad when I was young. Now that I'm more mature, they say it does get lessened. But yeah, I had I had ADHD. You know I failed most of my classes in ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade. Eh. And then, yeah, just messed up, man. Um, I, bro, believe me, bro. People who I thought were friends weren't really friends. But anyways, the way I learned was being by myself. Honestly, being a loner is probably the best experience you ever have in your life. Because you is you. You learn about yourself. You learn about other things. Because what I know about and what I learned about is that other people would rather learn more about other people than rather than to know more about themselves. You know, they study uh, mo yeah. they study they study other people instead of instead of studying themselves, what they could become. You just glow differently when you mm -hmm. work on yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I totally like agree with that. Like once you work on yourself, like you just notice what what's really important. You know, like because. I used to want to like please other people as much as I could. Like I just wanted to fit in, but now like I don't I don't care for social media. I don't care for none of that. Like I'm 
you know, I just don't care. Like, I'm done with the social media games. Like, I'm done with the internet, you know? But yeah, like, when if you just work on yourself, you know, you just become a better version of you. Yeah, and then you just become tougher. And then nothing nobody can, nothing nobody says will ever get to you, you know? Because you know who you are. And if you're scared to be alone, then that's, that's something you're going to have to conquer in your life. Because... Not everybody's gonna be beside you. You're gonna be alone sometimes, man. I mean, life is tough. It life is. sometimes is shit, but you just gotta keep pushing. I have to use the restroom so bad. Alright, anyways, guys, look, we're gonna end the video right here. Hey, that was a good talk. It was a good talk with you guys, okay? Look, if anything, man, let let us let us let us know how you feel down in the comment. I'm gonna respond. Trust me. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, work on yourself. Worry about you. You know, do all that. Yes, and what? And go to my channel. Hey, hey, what's your channel called again? Daniel Ramirez. And see, and see that? See, that's the name of Daniel Ramirez. But yeah, I love y'all, man. Hope y'all have a good day, pleasant day. Peace. Yeah. Peace out, y'all. We'll y'all. We'll see you later. Look, guys. Oh, can I put the flash? Look, guys. This is Momo's baby. Carolina's. I'm the uncle. Hi, I'm your uncle.